There are so many moments that happen in in during the day that I may not I will not get engaged with either the phone or my laptop or anything. And there are moments that it's just you're hanging out by yourself. You're at the presence of the of the of Her Majesty, the Supreme. You're quiet, you're here, and you're not engaged with anything. And you catch yourself that a series of moments have gone by and there hasn't been any thoughts. And of course, maybe a thought comes that I'm not thinking. But once you start to exercise or practice your natural state of being, which is to be here, right now and divert your attention inwardly and this becomes a habit of yours then you start to catch yourself on short long periods of time that you are somewhere and you have no thoughts and it's very very quiet and peaceful and this peace quiet that you start to experience it grows it's kind of like weed and that is rec receiving water and sun and it starts growing and it gets into it grows into your aura and it gets bigger and bigger and keeps expanding and what happens, and it starts to affect your surrounding. It starts to affect whatever is in your home, whatever your neighbors around, wherever you go. If you go to a coffee shop, if you're in an airplane, you're in a bus, you're in a train, whatever you're doing, you're traveling, wherever you are, and it starts affecting affecting your surrounding and that is how you change the world if you're concerned for those of you asking me that how do i change the world and how do i affect the world and how do i help humanity and you're very passionate about it and you really feel like it's your responsibility to help humanity then your first and most responsibility becomes working on yourself and coming to here to this place rather than being in the story because if you're going to be involved in the story of the world and life then you're really not contributing to life you're just your contribution is more chaos more uncertainty and more fear and anxiety your true contribution to humanity is to emanate love and peace but there is this misconfusion about love and peace a lot of people come and they go on strong demonstrations and they get very angry and they become very violent they're on a peace demonstration and they're very angry so how can we bring peace to the world by a bunch of angry people there would never be any peace in the world if you want to have peace in the world and we want a better world then we have to find peace within ourselves first you have to become peaceful within yourself If you don't do that, if you don't become peaceful within yourself, then you cannot transmit that wisdom and that state of being, that know-how to anyone else. Because you haven't learned that, you haven't figured it out yourself. And you're expecting a world 
that is reflecting your level of consciousness to give you peace. And the world that you're looking at and you're experiencing is an animation of your state of consciousness. So it can't give you any peace because you haven't discovered peace yourself. You have to find peace within and come to that place and not just be there for a moment or two or half a day because things are going your way. Staying in that place all the time, being in that place even when things are not going your way. Even if you lose your money in stock market, or even if your partner leaves you, or things are not going in the way, the direction you want them to go, and you're still staying in the peaceful state within yourself. Even when you get bad news about your health, you get bad news about your family's health, you, stay, you still stay in a peaceful place. I'm not talking about that you're not feeling anything, you're not experiencing your emotions, you're not feeling sad because someone close to you is dying, you're concerned about the welfare of your family, I'm not talking about that, that's very natural. But I'm talking about that you have this discovered peace within yourself and you stay peaceful and calm and connected and you feel the love which is here and out of that you begin to love and accept yourself and as you feel that you're loving you're accepting yourself you're not in a duality with yourself peace comes surrender comes and you come to this place and you begin to feel love continuously. And whichever direction you, you go to, this love comes with you in that direction. And this love gets transmuted to others and your surrounding. And that's how we contribute to this world. That's how we bring peace and love tranquility, balance into this world. We change ourselves first by learning how to be here in this moment, by learning how to be present and how to not fall into the story, the story of the mind.